Now, so the next round of initiative. Um, I will go first and yes. stand my ground. Quite so. All right. Gee. Now it's actually hard to decide who, who should go first here. I think the assassin will try to like go around all this madness. So let's see, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oop, nine, ten, eleven. Well, yeah, that's fine. He'll end up facing this way. Or wait, is that a lower ridge that I just walked into? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we're fine. Shit! Now I'm doing it. I think that's how it went. Yep, that's right. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, he's a very evasive boy. Now feel free to make a move of your own, folks. Okay. I will go ahead and move the Shadow Hawk. Again. Okay. Uh if you I really don't want to play the edge here. That's, that's a horrible idea to play the edge, because that's just mean. I mean, you do what you what you have to there, man. I'm just surprised you're going right now at all. Okay. But nobody is objecting, so, so go one, for it. Two, three, uh, no, sorry. One, two, three, four, uh, five. It'll Six. take two each time to climb up and then climb down that hill. Oh, yeah. So that would put me at eight then. Exactly like there. Yep. Um, You're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got one to rotate. Then I will rotate. There you go. Huh. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, that would. Okay. I forgot it. Uh, the little, you know, coins you leave on the ground includes where you started. Okay. All right, then. Well, now everyone is going to take full advantage of the fact that you moved first, and uh, everyone's going to try to get into your rear arc. Let's do it. Um, That's fine. The javelin is going to turn let's see one two oh using the wrong window to control him again one two three four five six seven eight nine oh no not like that uh damn this is a tough one Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's rear arc. And with me ending facing that way. There we go. Is the centurion facing bottom right still after the fall? Yes. He stayed oriented the same way. Upon standing, he can face wherever he wants. But yes, for right now, that is the case. All right. Do we want to go ahead and move the enforcer? Uh, yeah, we can. Hermes hasn't moved yet, right? Yeah. No. Correct. What, um, how sturdy are these structures? The CF uh, the label that's on them is there, is how sturdy they are. So, uh, yeah. there are only 
There's only one building that looks, uh, looks like it can hold your weight, and that's the one at the very north side that says 52 CF. Everything else you would collapse into. How dare you mark something as CF 49? <laughs> They, they were randomly rolled, what can I say? But the dice were mean on that one, it's true. How do I want to do this? One, two, three, four. And that'll be a jump. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, who will we move next? Probably the Hermes. This Hermes is a 6 9. We will have him go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 to turn south. East. Like that. There we go. Welcome All right, back. I'm Anna. back. All good. Uh, let's see whose turn. Yeah, it'll be on y'all to move one now. Uh, I'll uh, move yeah, actually, the Sarah you guys now. I need to move two. Oh, nope, not yet. Nope, you still have the Valkyrie and the Centurion. Oh, it's the Centurion I haven't moved yet. Of course. Yeah. I'll move the, the Valkyrie. Me. Or not the Valkyrie, the, uh, the Serena. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Pin turn, huh? Whew. And where would that end facing? Okay. So. And that's not. That's not the back. Seven. And eight. Okay. So I need to look up some. Or unless you have the rules handy already, Kane, I need to look up the skid rules. They're, they're so on the I left. Oh yeah, they. Oh, I'm glad I did the, put those the, over there. The okay. rules are different. They're not. They're not skid rules. They're different. Gotcha. Uh, Do they have better thresholds? Uh, yeah, it's much easier. So you'll be rolling at the threshold of seven hexes moved and eight hexes moved, whatever those are. In normal skidding, that would be plus one and plus two. I still don't know where you're looking, actually. There we go. And then um, it is slide slipping. It's the flying version of a skid, but it's oh, there it's, it is. Okay. It's a, yeah. So I just I make a regular piloting roll. Um, and then if I fail it, the margin of failure is how far out of position I go for free movement. Um, and it only matters if I slam into something of the same elevation as me, which I'm, there's nothing for me to crash mm -hmm. into. It's just going to denote if I drift a little too far to the side. Right. Which would make you have to redo your movement from that point. Yeah. So that's a pass. And that's a pass. I mean, technically, you are a pilot, too, at this point, so uh, it'd be pretty hard to yeah, fail. Uh, yeah. 
Yep. And that puts me back into his rear arc if that ends up being where he is. With, um... Yep. Where's my mouse here? Oh, hold on. With... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, with the same evasion. I'm still at plus 5 to hit. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay, I think... Hmm... The Centurion is going to go ahead and try to stand up. Did he take power damage when he fell? Ooh. I was just have looking to through make the a roll like, oh. to see whether or not he did. I believe it's just, uh, you have to... I think you have to roll your piloting and then it would be a plus uh, one because he took a uh, 20 plus damage amount of damage this yeah. uh, round. So I'll, I'll just make him do a 2d6 roll. Let's see how it goes. He's fine. He probably made that. Yeah. Now let's attempt to stand with another 2d6 roll. All right. He makes it up. Let me undo the prone state. There we go. And he would stand up facing this way. And he's going to go one, two, three, four. At walking speed. That hurts. And get right behind oh, you... the shadow hawk. Yeah, use two points of movement to stand up, so that is a run. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. Did you commit to a run before him? Uh, I did not. I have never seen this rule about committing before. I'm just used to the <laughs> Mega Mac, like, you try, and if you don't succeed, then you try again, and you just keep spending movement points until you're done. I've never actually seen anything about committing to just keep walk or run before. Okay. I don't know if that's just a programming limitation of Mega Mac that I am carrying over. Uh... I don't know. I'm trying to. I don't know what page it's on. Um, I'll see if I can find a it. Might page be near the falling it. page, which I think, I think is like a hundred nine or something like that. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's in. It, if it's going to be in the line of sight page. It's going to be in Total Warfare because it's. It, it will be. Which total I Warfare. Have, we have the physical book of as well. Let me see. Because you're right, otherwise he would have stopped short if I declared it as a walk beforehand, which I w was going to assume it was. So, yeah, you have a good point there. I'm just so, I'm so not used to, oh yeah, no, it's, it's 69. Nice. Uh, let's see. So that's the falling section. I don't know if standing up is also going to be described there, but it's a, you know, it's a possibility. I mean, we can just roll for it, roll with it for now, and then later I have mean, that information. It makes a difference whether or not he's about to put an AC-20 through your back or not. Hmm. Actually, it looks like it'll be in uh, getting up from prone, so I'm looking up prone right now. Apologies for the delay, friends. Farron just raised such a good point that I would really like to have this figured out for the long term. Standing up, page 50. Okay. Each attempt to stand costs 2 MP. Um, Mech may attempt to stand even if missing one leg. Um, begins the movement phase prone. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, if a mech begins the movement phase prone, it must declare whether it will walk or run before it attempts to stand. Well, I did say I was going to walk. So guess what? We don't end up in your back. 
that was worth checking. Okay. And also, Hooray! yes, I need to hydrate. Uh, so let me take back two of those movement points real quick. Here we go. This centurion, slow and lumbering that it is, ends up being only here. With uh, no dodgy dodgy. Very nice. Okay. That leaves both hovercraft to move. I'll go ahead and move the lightning first so we can save the salvin for last. Uh, okay. Turn for one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit. Right clicker space more. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Wound up right there. Right in my front arc, just barely. Gotcha. Um, is your max uh, speed 11? I, I can go up to 17, but... Um... I don't know, maybe worth doing in order to get a back shot on him. Okay, yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, so he's got no armor on the rear left torso. Bring him back here. Matter of fact. That's brought me to 11. Yep. 12 to nice 10. For some reason, the Centurion still has armor on the rear left torso. Looks like it got set to 10 instead of 0. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's looks like it looks like for some reason its armor went back to the 12, 16, 12. Really? Yeah. I Internal structure is still correct, but the rear armor got reset. Holy shit! It didn't right. get put on right. So it should be zero, seven, and six. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I don't know why it's doing this From to left me. To right. What the fuck, dude? This unit is cursed. If I counted that correctly, I have to take three skid rolls. Yep. And that's, <laughs> that's up to my uh, piloting, right? Depends on so, how far. Yeah, you're piloting with a modifier you. depending on how far you've gone. Exactly. Okay. But now, hovercraft don't. Hovercraft actually, actually, actually have skid rolls that are slightly different, right? They might also follow the side slipping rules that we were talking about before with Kane. Um, please re yes. refer all well, the way the, to. The, the, the stuff to the left is for Ouija's and VTOLs. Oh, that's what it says? Okay, then you do follow uh, upper tanks skills. are neither. Okay. Yeah, so... So they just operate regular tanks. Uh, yes, so, so how far you moved before you take the turn determines the difficulty. Okay, so two for the first one, There's so... There's a skidding table at the bottom below the map. Also, oh, yeah, I just there got it is on the from the server for some reason. That's uh, pretty cool. The um, the uh, the pages that are copied above the map on the le the left hand of the three what the uh, has a piloting driving skill roll table and includes the hexes moved for skidding. Okay. And then hexes moved during your turn. But uh, I think it's just the the skidding movement. I think that's. There's Actually, your modifier for your skid rolls. Yeah, so it's... Flanking VTOL, uh, Ouija, or hover vehicle moved after facing change. Oh, so hover vehicles, the hover vehicles do use the Ouija ones. Yeah. It says it right there. Hover vehicles use the same shit as the Ouija's and VTOL. Oh, then your shit is super fucking easy. Okay. Okay. Congrats. Make, a, a, make a piloting roll. You need to roll okay. a three three times. Can you do it? Uh, probably not. One. <laughs> two. Whoa. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're fine. Okay. So the way it works with the, 
So with the with with the uh, flying stuff, and I guess Ouija for you, uh, how much you fail by is how far you move, and that's it. That that's okay. the whole thing. Yeah. So you can that's really that. fucking deja vu it <laughs> if you're yeah. going. If you're if you are in fact good at driving hover vehicles, you can fling that thing around like a helicopter and just not give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get reconnected for my cameraman real quick. It got booted randomly. All right. <laughs> nice. Welcome to the promised land of Vital Ouija rules. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we're back. All right. So yes, the lightning attack hovercraft has in fact made it behind the Centurion. Now the Saladin must move, for we have one initiative. Yep. Us bad guys over here. Six, seven. Keeping in mind that Valkyrie hasn't moved yet. Mm hmm Yep. Oh man, you got a back shot on him too, don't ya, the Baron? Assuming we're still all going after the Centurion. <laughs> the dogpiling continues. <laughs> we're gonna dogpile the Shadowhawk, mm. might as well. <laughs> Hold on, what's the Saladin's movement again? Twelve. I think it was seven for cruising. It's eight and twelve. Yeah, yes. It is, it um, is. Let's see. Oh, we'll did, you, did you yeah, turn north... Uh, northwest at the end there? Yep, and that would be... So, hold on. That's two skid rolls. So... I uh, had it counted so that 12 would leave you facing southwest. Um, 12. Yeah, because it costs the extra for hovers to go d up and down elevation, that's that's what uh, makes a difference there. Oh, uh, that's right, it costs them extra. Okay, well then we'll just do... Chaos. Um, that... Okay. Um, I think no. We'll do in that case. Hold on. It's still uh, same Either amount way, of dodge. I need to go back to this. And give me a second. One, two. Then the Centurion wouldn't be, the Enforcers are not actually able to cover my back, so what we'll do instead is we'll just go, um, we'll just start here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and go, one, two, three, four, five, yep, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, We'll face that way, and okay. then we'll go 11 and face like that. Gotcha. Okay. And we will make a quick piloting roll, which, oh, which we got an 8 on. Um, cool. To not slam into the thing next to us. And we are set? Yep. You're golden. Which means the Valkyrie is... Now, hmm, faced with the decision. If you were to turn two, let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, that would be blocked by the higher level 
Never mind. He's not as clever as he thinks. All right. Uh, yeah, I think the Valkyrie is getting signs of some really bad shit uh, happening in the city, and he's actually gonna hightail it away from here. Um, so he's gonna turn northwest. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. And there's another one in my back. Oh, yeah. Well, you gave him the chance, you know? I yeah, know. Okay. <laughs> so I think that's everything moved now. All right. Shit, yeah, folks. So All right, we got in mind, right? let's do some declarations. Uh, red one initiative, oh. so that means you guys are declaring your first thing. I'm going to do tag first. Oh, tag, yeah. yes. Um, yes, tag yes. Face. I'm going to uh, tag the... Uh, you go ahead and tag the Centurion if you want. I'll tag the Hermes. Okay. Uh, what would that Just be? So you know, the Serrano uh, would be in short three, range four, to tag you, the Hermes. You'd be in medium range yeah. to tag the Hermes. If you tag the Centurion, then we'll both have the easiest rolls we can get on the tags. Okay. I'll, take, I'll... I'll tag the Hermes if you want it tagged. Okay. I'll tag the Centurion then. So, what? Okie dokie. I won't That's always give gunnery. you guys uh, help like that in the future, but, you know, we're all getting started. We're getting used to our uh, equipment. So it'd be just gunnery plus distance plus speed. I'm guessing just yeah, like it's, a normal it's shot. It's just like a. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that would. That'd be a two for me. All right. Yeah. Centurion is tagged. Cool. Hermes is tagged. Hot damn. All right. And, um. Who wants to deck shots first? I can go ahead and take lightning? shots with the lightning, yeah. Uh,. That's true. I'm going to declare Alpha on the Centurion. Mm -hmm. That's two medium pulses to a Street Caster M2s at fours. Oh. Whew. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Damn. All <laughs> fire on the Centurion as well with my large laser. For sure. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I'm still too far away for the alternate rules with the AMS, so they'll stay in anti-missile mode mm -hmm. yeah i'm pretty sure converted ams They're has one. a range of one yeah yeah real close work with those okay uh now let's see i will declare well i guess i'll declare with two units because i just heard two units declared uh let's see Centurion, you know, he feels like he still has a job to do. He's gonna, he's gonna keep firing that uh, AC-20 that he's got left at the Shadowhawk. Now it's a, add an extra one difficulty for having stood up this turn, if I recall correctly. Oh no, 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 never mind. I'm thinking of heat. He generates an extra heat for standing, for the standing attempt. Uh, so yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, that's all he does. He AC-20 at the Shadowhawk. And then uh, a second unit. Let's see. I think the Hermes 2 will continue his uh, Alpha Strike attempts at the Shadowhawk's rear. All right. Cool. Then I will go ahead and deck two LRM 15s at the back of the Centurion. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going into that thing's back. A lot more dangerous stuff altogether than... Uh, we have going into the Shadowhawks back, so hey, could work out in y'all's favor. Okay, uh, then we will have the, let's see. Hmm, the Assassin is at max range with everything. Might as well try to Alpha Strike with him. Is he able to? He looks like he's facing off the map. 
Uh, with a torso twist, he absolutely can can see the shadow yeah. hawk just fine. Because with a torso twist, he can go along this line. Okay. Yep. So. Yep, that's what he does. Cool. Whether or not they're um, good numbers, he will alpha strike. Saladin declares nothing. Word. Yeah, at some point along this, y'all declare two at once, but we will keep going with the one to one for now. I think it's at the end. So the javelin. Actually, no. First, the Valkyrie attempts to put a medium laser into the rear of the Shadowhawk. And let's see. Okay. And does a secondary shot at the lightning of the LRMs. There we go. That's what he did. Okay. Arm weapons right on arm the mounted weapons. Okay, right arm weapon. So yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll do Maybe the medium javelin. Jav there we go. Okay. Is that it? Just the medium laser? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That just leaves right. the javelin to alpha strike the shadow hawk in the rear. All right. Now let's do some right, shooting. We can start resolving shots. Mm-hmm. So we we declared the lightning first. Yeah. Yes. All right, that's all on force. Yep, all on force. Damn, that lightning crew balls. Uh, say, just say yeah. what's what's shooting in what order. Uh, it's gonna be the two MPLs. Then it's mm -hmm. gonna be the two SRM. Street Makes good sense for crit seeking purposes. That sounds sounds sound. Okay. Go for it. Got it. Uh, that will be hit location in the rear. Center, Center torso rear. Okay. Okay. So that's six Damn points. Rear. Okay. I'm going to edit this manually because it, it freaks out when I use take damage. Sorry for the extra time that takes. Um, oh God, this is being weird. Okay. So yeah, that'll only leave one armor left on the rear center torso. Okay. Very nice. Uh, go ahead and take your next uh, shot then. MPL2. That's the hit. Definitely hits. Hit location. Left torso. Back. Oh, Left torso. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, roll for crit on that. Okay. No crit. Dern. No critical Plot hit. Plot point. No way. It's oh. not my character. Uh, uh, it's an NPC. That's true. That's true. This is like yeah. you're ordering the NPC <laughs> what to do. Yeah. All right. So we will mark his internal structure as four on the so, left torso. Okay. Right. Streak twos, uh, first one. Okay. Uh, so I just roll it for both missiles. Yes. Yep. Okay. First one back. Right arm. Uh, right arm. Okay. Second one head. Head. Oh man. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna try to use the take damage macro for this, and I hope it stays marked. Yes, right arm two, head two. Pilot says, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right, and you ready for the last one? Uh, yes. Okay. That's hit on the nose. Oh my God. Okay, so that's uh, left arm. Why can't we get a left torso? Left arm. 
double left arm hit. Okay. But I mean, just by myself, I just put him in the uh, pilot skill roll, so and a head hit. That's nice. True. And it has once again right. reset his rear armor, and I am rage. All right, and then what the fuck? Uh, yeah, huh? I wonder why it does keep doing that. Uh, I will never know. I will definitely be. Is the is the mech sheet you're scene. using wrong or something? Uh, I'm not even sure what you mean by that. I don't know if you, like, you've got like a base template or something that this unit's based on that's incorrect. Um, that maybe it keeps pulling from. Yeah, I don't know how it's pulling from other things. It should only be using the stats that I'm writing in it. So that's that's what's blowing my mind oh, here. Oh, okay. Um, I see. And I don't think uh, his right torso rear has been impacted yet, right? So he should be at no. six still. Make it that yeah. set. Yeah. Uh, and then it's his turn to shoot. The left torso should be open as well. One sec. I think you're right about his turn to shoot, though. Yes, yes, you are. So. Let's a little do. We'll do a little cackalating. Short range. I walked. And target moved five hexes, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. And you just stood up. Oh, that's scary. Come on, he's messed with that AC twenty every time. Come on. <laughs> Let's do it. The AC-20 oh. strikes the Shadowhawk. Let's see where it goes. Oh. 10 from the front arc. Arm. Hey, so left, left arm. arm is a fantastic that thing to get hit on the best place you could have <laughs> ever been hit in a Shadowhawk. Oh, my God. You lucky bastardo. All right, well, go ahead and do left that tank host. damage macro. Uh... We'll, we'll see if it goes through correctly. But yeah, 20 Take to the left it. arm. Yep. Yes. Roll crit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, let me do a crit chance uh, check with that Centurion then. Nope. Yeah. I That's still have a hand to punch it. <laughs> yeah. If I get that close. Okay, well, that makes it whoever declared next on your team's turn. Who was that? Is that you, Varen? Uh, yeah, it's me. Yeah, I declare... Well, actually, no, it's the Serrano. Yeah, that's it. The Serrano goes next. Very Kane, cool. you're muted. Uh... That explains a bit. <laughs> well, you're we fussing with this thing. Like, I've been talking for 10 minutes. No one's talking to me. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we don't love you. Oh, my God. Anyways. I know. I think the rear armor on the Shadowhawk is also incorrect because it's got a fuck ton of armor on the rear. Yeah, it also got a bit crazy. It, it has its internal. I, I noticed the pattern. The pattern is, is that it's adding the, the base internal structure as rear armor. Uh, yeah, good point. It's not all of them. It's definitely just some of them. It's specifically the Shadowhawk and the Centurion. The other ones aren't doing it. Hmm. Tell you what, I took that five to center torso rear. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which should not have 18 armor. Yes, yeah. that's, what, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's taking the internal structure for those locations and making that that's what it keeps setting the rear armor to that's the problem you're having okay time to message I... the mod writer about yet another thing I marked that down on my notepad hey. but Serrano go ahead and make your shot alright force a crit 
What's the hit on this one? Fucking three? Like negative five. Uh, well, he walked two hexes. Yep. So no pluses. Uh, I ran. Uh, and I'm in short range. Any, uh, I'm what? sorry, just to check real quick. When you, uh, take any damage at all on the Shadowhawk, it resets your rear, uh, armor? Yeah. Okay. It seems to be when you take damage that when you do the take damage macro, it resets the rear armor to the uh, in, to the default internal structure. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. It's even higher so, than my base right now. I'm supposed to have like the, Um. And it looks like the left arm hits the um, or the eight damage to the left arm on the yeah. Centurion. Eight damage to the left arm. Okay, just one moment. Yeah. It has nothing I care about in it, so... Very true. Whatever. Just a cool-looking shieldy arm that's not actually a shield, you know. Uh... But hey, it's more damage. Damn. I'm gonna have to set this this rear armor every time for the rest of my life. Actually, you no, have I'm to gonna... scratch it down on a note card until it dies. No, I'm go I'm going into the into the code. We're taking the armor, uh, the damage off that left arm the other way, so I don't have to do that. I'm going to. Uh, I'd rather it look right. So, um, eight damage to the left arm. You said, yeah, he's. Yep. Uh, crit chance and no crit, you said, huh? Yeah. No crit. Okay. And then it is... Hermes or the Valkyrie's turn? Should One of those. Uh, I've got my declare order here. Uh, Hermes 2. Okay. The Hermbules is going to put... Uh, well, he's alpha striking. Yep. So... This will be a complicated series of different numbers. Each one will have a different to hit. So we'll do the medium laser, which is short range, and then go from there. Target move five X's. I am a runner. Calculate. Okay, so he needs an eight with the medium laser. He needs a 10 with the flamer. And then... I think that would make it so he also needs a 10 with the AC5. So we're going to try the AC5 oh, first, then the medium laser, then the flamer. Hey! Uh. AC5. Where'd that go? Left leg. Ed. No, left leg. Okay, that's fine. I can take left leg. Jay is. Then... Um, we did some damage to your rear torso at one point, didn't we? Center rear, yeah. Center rear, okay. Uh, you did five. Okay. Now we need a medium laser on an eight. Can he do it? He cannot. And then a flamer on a ten. Nopes. Bunch of okay. nopes. Now it's uh, Yelz's turn. All right, so I... Fire now, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, it then it is. So, uh, we'll go ahead and um, go through Varen's turn, then I'll call it out. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Uh, okay. And he only moved zero to two hexes, right? Yep. All right, then, yeah. Uh, then I'm hitting on fours. <laughs> fours? Uh... Yes, because of uh, Oblique Attacker. I'm stationary. He's medium range. Hot Wait, point. I didn't calculate right. It didn't add a range. Hold on. I could believe four after range. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. It's... 
No, hold on. That didn't calc right at all. Give me a second. Let yeah, me you should only be at a total quick. of minus one from beneficial things because Oblique Attacker, once again, only gets rid of the inbuilt plus one for indirect fire. Yes. It's also not removing left leg. Or yeah, okay, so I should hit on five. There we go. All right. Who's there doing go, left leg things? What well, oh, I got hit it. just now. What the um, fuck? Alright, so... Um, well, it does say he's missing then, some left leg uh, health. Number of missiles. 12 missiles hit. When you, location. when you take damage, Heimat, uh, make sure you're also refreshing your window. Uh, you have to do the... If, if you have the shift setting on, then hold shift and uh, hover back over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so 12 left missiles. Left arm okay. takes five. Um, so left arm takes five, which puts him with left arm gone, I think, right? Oh. Um, no. He still has two health left there. Although definitely oh, feel free to make a crit chance roll. There we go. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading the armor diagrams. There we Understandable. Go. Yes! Okay. Um... Two, four. Uh, that is he, the he hand. He doesn't have anywhere near enough to, uh, like, yeah. Oh, okay. We'll uh, you did two. roll for the hand anyway. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Uh, yeah. It's either gonna be. Yeah, I would actually just take the first roll. So that would be the upper arm actuator, which I will mark off. Oh, okay. Yeah, since um, it was only supposed to be one d six, I will take the first to d six. Right. And then that's another hit. Indeed. Oh, you need. You still need to do your other seven damage. You oh, are absolutely true. correct. I'm an idiot. So let's do the next five. <laughs> next five is right leg for five. We all make mistakes. Uh, right leg for five. Okay. And we'll get yep. that marked as such. This is a tank. And then the last so two. So true. Mm-hmm. Left torso, left torso, left torso. <laughs> uh, rear center torso, which does go internal. Ooh, hot damn. And a crit. You're right about that. Oh my god. Okay. And that is 4-4, four, four, which I believe is gyro. Sorry, I'm still getting the uh, damage added. You said it was 5 damage to the rear no. center torso? Or two. Four is going to be the bottom half of the table. It's going to be another engine hit. Oh, you're right. Um. Oh, yeah, it's going to be crit. really rough at the end of the round for this Centurion. Uh, but how much damage went into the rear center torso again? Two. Is that two? Okay. Two. Gotcha, gotcha. That crit yeah, definitely does happen, left. though. Yeah. Um, take critical hit. And what was that? Um, roll four, for four. Four, four, I see. So another engine hit for you. Whew, that's going to be rough. I'm going to go ahead and get it. And you already hit with your... You're, well, wait, we might... He might kill him, so... Yeah. That's uh, true. You roll for how many missiles? You already hit, so... Yeah. Then we're back on track. Oh, yeah. oh my god, he's at 11 heat from all this. <laughs> and he tried to stand up, so it actually should be 12. Um, um, so, can uh, plot points be used on uh, cluster rolls? I don't think... Well, what, like a re-roll? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then we'll do that. Okay, go for it. Oh, Please mark go. somewhere that you have used a plot point. Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it to use? Reroll. Here we go. Sadly, 
it will not uh, point at the proper character token for spending the plot points, so you'll still need to make a note okay. that you did. That's fine. Then I still have a lot of programming to do to make these two mods actually interact with each other. But, um, now then, um, here we go. Left leg takes five. And left okay. arm takes four, which does go rear left torso. You're probably right left about arm that. should, because left arm has two health left, and that does two rear left torso. Okay. No crit. No I will crit. spend a plot point though to cause a kit to cause a crit. There oh, you go. Oh shit. And then okay. we'll just roll a d6. The first one is a That's... three, which is one of the ammo bins. Oh boy. Yes. Finally. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need to be marking any more of this uh, armor and internal stuff. Because Whoa. the centurion before you fucking explodes. It is an absolute fireworks show of unspent shells being quickly all spent. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and mark this guy as dead as fuck. Put out. Nice. Excellent work. Okay. It didn't need two tons of LRM ammo anyway. Damn, that, that definitely uh, was the time to uh, re-roll that, uh, <laughs> that cluster roll. Yeah, I felt if like If there it. was ever a one, it was that one. Okay. So uh, what has the Shadowhawk taken to the rear so far? I think it was five damage to the center torso rear. Yep. Okay. Boom indeed, Bonway. Okay, now let's see. The assassin is... Oh boy, it's going to be... Uh, no, we, we do not use attack ops ammo explosion rule, uh, Hashin. I guess if we all come to that agreement in the upcoming session zero, then that could be a thing. But uh, I definitely don't have that turned on right now. Let's see. What can that assassin do? It's going to be a really tough shot. Then declare on uh, the Shadowhawk. Yep. He is alpha striking the Shadowhawk. It'll be medium range for his LRMs, and then I'll add two for the other weapons. Actually, it'll be medium range for the AC5 as well. Okay. Or no. I'm, th I'm looking at the wrong mech again. Yeah. Medium range LRM5, long range medium laser, and SRM2. Let's see what kind of numerical solutions we require for that oh god tens and twelves all right well <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna try uh first off with the medium laser nope nope these are the twelves by the way uh and the srm2 needs a 12. nope and then uh a 10 on the other m5 perhaps Ooh. oh my god all right i'll take it um so yeah, let's see, see right how time. many of those. Blop. Wow. Three hit. Okay, uh, that's fine by me. Let's do a hit location roll. I am that's in right your side, right arc. Which, it does not actually read out here what that is. Because it thinks I'm in your front arc for some reason. Oh, I didn't declare target, that's why. Silly me. The uh, right arc. Uh, that's a four. That would be my right arm. Okay. Take three damage to your right arm, please. And Done. that's how the assassin do. Now it's y'all's turn to fire with one. Serrano fired. Tread fired. Shadowhawk fired. I think we don't have any more firing to do. You 
may very well be right about that, friendo. Okay. Well, the Valkyrie and the Javelin are going to have their fun then. The Valkyrie is putting a medium laser into the rear arc of the Shadowhawk first. Yep. Um, that's going to be a... Let's see. Eight to hit. And uh, let's try it. Yes, Got a it. medium laser goes into the rear arc of the Shadowhawk. Which, damn, I keep forgetting sound effects. Now, uh, hit location. Oh! It Head beams shot. you in the head! Yep. Oh, and it is time to hydrate. Thank you, Kane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Five damage. Mm hmm. Wow. Oh, I still do have one shot. I got that medium laser on the javelin. Ah, uh, that's true. Okay, we will make sure to to do that after this, because the Valkyrie is a secondary shot. A perfect short range of seven with his LRM at the lightning attack of a craft. It is his secondary target. Let me set that. And how many I hexes moved did he move? You moved to 11. 11. Yep. I believe you. Okay. There we go. Cackalate. I need an 11, including the secondary target mod, so let's try it. Nope. Not getting lucky twice. Okay. Uh, now feel free to go ahead and take that laser shot. Okay. Uh, on the javelin, I need a 7 to hit. Select the target. Last one. I just got shot in the head. I'm, it's a little hard for me to hit right now. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. That leaves the javelin. He is alpha striking at the rear of the Shadowhawk. Let's just do a quick oh, little cackle gonna be an eight yep okay well first SRM six hits a bunch of missiles come flying in let's see what kind of uh, let's see how many of them four hit okay let's do four location rolls two damage rear right torso Rear right, okay. Two damage, rear left torso. Uh, and we also have something to do uh, at the uh, end of this phase as well, and that is a consciousness check for you. Uh, yep, piloting the consciousness. On. Yes. Yeah, you will have taken, uh, you probably I will have taken 20. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah. On his way out of existence, he did hit you with that AC-20. All right, let me do the other two hit location rolls real quick here. Uh, let's see, right arm. Damn. And then two more to the rear center torso. Still not through. Okay. Uh, oh, That's and now we're firing one. our second SRM-6. Like a this. And that hits as Got well. It. Shit. Five of them <laughs> hit. All right, let's do it. What you got Two for damage me? left arm. Left arm. <laughs> Two damage left leg. Uh, two damage rear center torso. That broke through. So you've got a crit on my left arm and you got a crit on my rear center torso. Okay. I will finish applying damage first and we will roll for those. 
Just so I don't forget how many missiles I fired. Uh, Two more. Yeah. Another rear center torso hit. And then a right leg hit. So two more damage to each of those, which means two center torso crit chances. And, and one, one for the arm. left arm. We'll start off with the left arm crit chance. Nope. Uh, I could have used that for the center torso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> center torso crit. Oh, God. Uh, it's going to kill me. So... It should be noted that plot points can be used to lower crits, I believe, or negate yeah. or lower crits. I think uh, when it's a two crits, it turns it to one. I can avoid a critical hit. I'm going to spend plot points and make it just one. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably in the fine print when you uh, click it. But I forget offhand what it do. Oh, I keep ammo on my center torso. Oh, I, I think I want to save that, actually. If you yeah, touch off see. that SRM ammo, I'm screwed. That is true. Uh, yeah, avoid ammo explosion is that. definitely another use of it, so... Uh, save it for the ammo explosion. Yeah, sa yep. Save it for that. Yeah, Shadowhawk 2H, just finding new ways for it to be incredibly unoptimal. Because I didn't even know about that. CT ammo, oh my god. Okay, so, um, let's uh, find out where these rolls go then. We'll just do a, a good old 2d6 on, whoops, if I can type. Oh. It's, whoops, no, it's not showing the individuals. Well, I can't do that. Well, hold on. I mean, with an 11, it's a 6-5 or a 5-6. So either way, it's going to... you have so ammo it... in both of those slots? No, it could be a jump jet or ammo. Yeah, let's reroll it. Okay, my bad, guys. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So six, that is a 6-2. That's fusion engine. Okay. Take one engine hit with the take uh, critical hit thingy. And then let's roll the other location. Five, two, that's the same spot. Let's try same again. Same spot. Roll. This time it's three, six, so the bottom of the upper half. <coughs> gyro. Gyro, okay. One engine hit, one gyro hit. And you have another one to do. Uh, another crit chance roll? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, roll for crit. No crit. <coughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, so my heat just spiked. But I'm still manageable. Yeah, it's hard to overheat a stock Shadowhawk for sure. Yeah, overheating's not what does you. It's that yeah. freaking CT that ammo. That gyro hit apparently. is going to be uh, a bit of an issue with having also taken a shit ton of damage. Um, okay. And I'm so, going to uh, uh, spend a pot point to prevent a fall. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So I think that, have you spent three plot points now? I know you've spent at least two, no. I can't remember. I, that, that was the second one, I didn't, I messed up the thing on the first one, so I didn't actually oh, that's spend right. it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you decided to take the crits in case one was explosive, which makes total sense. Mm. Uh, so yes, you do avoid a fall, you still will need to make a flat 2d6 roll to uh, check uh, for consciousness, which you totally stay woke, congrats. Thank God. Okay. If there is a, um, in the checks box, there is a consciousness checker. So it'll give you oh, a faster yes. kill. Gotcha. Oh, wow. I forgot about the, the, <laughs> the checks macro. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a good spend of a plot point for sure. Um, I believe that's everything we need to resolve this round. Yep. If I recall correctly. Just me. 
Yes. If anyone did anything to uh, add more heat than normal, or more heat than you think would be 10, please do so now. Helps we have a lot of vehicles. Standing still hucking. <laughs> Standing still hunting missiles uh, requires no heat build from me. Yes, true, true. And yeah, yep, all there my no, people are fine. The one who no was going to build a lot of heat is now uh, hotter than he ever should have been as a flaming pile of wreckage. Okay, so. his counterpart is burning to death right now if he's not already dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the Shadowhawk did still end up in a better better place than the Centurion, that's for damn sure. All right, Christ. well, I will hit new round then. If game will let me... Oops, one sec. I have to have something selected. Turns out I have to have a bad guy selected. Not even one of y'all will do the job. There we go. Oh, we won initiative, finally. Oh, man, what a time to do so. Oh, um, hey, look, it, un it unkilled the Centurion. <laughs> resurrected. Yeah, that's weird. I'm going to drag him off. Goodbye. It's a zombie. Right? <laughs> All right. Um, so what will you do? I the think I'm going to take of the Nar. It's eight. We won initiative this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you did you have any extra heat over 12 uh, in the Shadow Hawk? No, nope. on. Oh, brought you I up to 12. I only built up eight. Yeah. It, it felt, yeah. Oh, you only spent three because you just fired the medium laser. You're right. Okay. It's like I was anticipating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, let me let me go light this round. Uh, so one more bit of uh, friendly GM advice: uh, it would probably be good to move with the Shadowhawk very last. Yep, that's what I was planning on. If we could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're uh, done with the back tanking. <laughs> yep. I we got rid of the big thing and I want it gone. So yeah, that's good point. Yeah. All well, the sacrifice uh... was made. I mean, we'll have you to don't think have about any... it after a bad guy moves. You, you've yes, got minus move one first. movement, so you're a four six right now, correct? Four six with three jump jets, so. And that gyro hit. Yeah, uh, and with a gyro could, hit, you, it will be difficult to go at. You could speed. run. You could go straight ahead, and then turn around and put your back to a height three object. Uh, he doesn't have enough movement for that, but he can face north. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, but then they'd be able to get here. So, you know what? Our first. Well, hold on. First, Stonar has to make a move. Yep. So then we'll yeah, I'm going to move one first, and, and y'all can ponder this as things develop. Uh, the assassin is going to turn north. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five to climb. Oh, no. That's a that's one little pit there. Okay, okay. Never mind. He's going to yeah. go. Oh. One, and then turn again. So that's actually a two, two three. three. Yeah, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, ten, eleven. Yeah, he's going to spend his last two turning like that. Cool. Um, and then what our first move should be, I think, is for the Enforcer to go right here. Because then the Shadowhawk can freely just run up and face this way, and the Enforcer blocks anybody getting behind him. What is that? Uh, Enforcer jumps. Nice. Oh yeah, we've got a fresh Enforcer, and I'm over here tanking this frickin' Centurion. This is oh. great. <laughs> that way met up at just the right the time. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, literally going to put his hand on your back. I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that shortcut to be able to do the uh, the pointer again? Uh, space bar. Space bar. Oh, okay. There yeah. we go. Yep. And now, then, so, so I know. think you do another one, right? Uh, I don't think yet, because it's when the opponent has... 
Oh wait, you've oh you've jumped another one. Sorry. Okay, yes. Sorry, I was go I was about to go into like the the math of do you have two times as many units as me? But no, you're right. It's just my turn. Uh, yeah. I am looking real quick for the piloting skill roll for running with a, a gyro hit. Uh, you will need to make piloting plus three in order to go at running speed. So the whole run four and then turn north thing that the turning would cause you to need to uh, make a piloting plus three seven. roll. So yeah, I need a seven. Just so you know, uh, for tactical and consideration. I have no more hot points. <laughs> right, and jumping will do the same thing as well. Well, let's see who You're moves first. You're just going to have to go for it. I mean, it's either that or you keep getting shot in the back. Because yes. that's, yeah, the only, uh, that's the only possible move you have. To you might still end up facing anymore. in a beneficial direction, because if you fall in the final <laughs> hex, you know, who knows where you'll face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fall, engine hit, dead. So, yeah, that's also possible. But let's see. I think the Valkyrie is also going to uh, take up a bit of a defensive position here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, actually, shit. What can he do to build more movement than that? Sorry, one sec. Uh, yeah, let's actually have him turn north first. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven to turn inward. Oops, not that far inward. There we go. Okay. Yep. So a seven hexes moved for him. That's what I was looking for. All right. Now you have two left, and we have um, five left. So now we move two. Yes, definitely. So I will again uh, stand still. And then, Captain, if you want to go ahead and make your move to defend your back. Yep, I'm going to attempt it. And... Crap. Tis worth a try. Nope. Uh -oh. Nope. Uh, You've got nothing left to spend on nope. the edge. <laughs> I threw all my plot points and all my edge. It's great. Uh, yes, you spent your last one to stay standing, right? Yeah. The first time. But now, yes. So, uh, I will do a quick uh, flat 1d6 roll to see which way you have ended up facing. Oh, or you have. Okay. So, from your original facing direction. Two, three, four, five. You will end up facing north. Uh, where is that? Northeast. Right here. So not, not too bad still. Wait, it's counterclockwise, not clockwise? Oh, I thought that would be clockwise. To the right. Yeah, from um, my original facing. His original yeah. facing was here, right? Uh, well, that was what I was attempting to turn oh, to. You know what? You're you're right. Um, he, ended, he ended up facing the way he wanted to. <laughs> the... I'm not sure if it goes this is from where it is at the very end of what you attempt to do, or once you break into running mode. I think you're right, actually. I mean, one, if he made two, the roll three, in transit, four, five, he would have originally been facing the building. I, I think well, Varen's actually right here. Um, that it it would be here. Okay. Which okay. is pretty defensive as well. That's counterclockwise. Although, no, that's clockwise. If he, if we're going from when he ended facing north. Okay. Which I will have to look up the real yeah. uh, or, specific edge case rule for or that. Or if you mean, or if it's specifically when he hits a run, then he would have been facing this way, and he'd be facing yeah. here now. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't know like if the you first just thing that like... takes him to a run, right? Yeah, so I don't know if you want to roll a D3 at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I have to choose between which case, yeah. No, I think I think we will go by the final facing, uh, which means where he's facing now is good. Okay. Oh, we can still try to fit the salad in there, or if they're too aggressive to get back there, the Saladin can park behind who parks behind him. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yes, they can still end their hex, uh, or end their turn in the hex with the Saladin, although you could try to create a, a bit of a blocking uh, line of vehicles right here, and they cannot leave a, the space of a vehicle, so 
that's something to keep in mind. Uh, all, all that matters is he can park and face guns in the direction of the Shadowhawk's back. True. Very, very go true. Ahead, like, go do ahead. You, do you want to put yourself it. in front of a Saladin? And you guys need to move that's a second That's the real one, question. Right? It's the no, that was our second one. Yeah, that was our second Part two was the trebuchet and the shadow hog. Oh, yep, yep. the treb. Okay. Forgot about that. Yeah, old you move dude. now. Okay. Let me just hey, do I'm only 29. Quick sequence moved. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's not you that's old, it's the <laughs> it's the treb. I ain't so. even a 30 flirty yet. Uh, uh, Hashin makes a good I mean, point also that I, I have GM plot points to use, but I have elected to not use them for the intro battle. But that could be a thing in the future, beware. Uh, now let's see. What do instead? I think the javelin. Hmm. Javelin's feeling a bit spicy. One, two. Wait, we haven't moved our second thing yet, have we? Yes, we did. The, oh, the enforcement yeah, of the Shadowhawk? Okay. We've, we have three people who have moved. Five, six, okay. seven, eight, nine. He can't get to the rear arc of the Shadowhawk again, but he wants to finish his work. So that would leave him facing that way. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, yeah, that's where the javelin ends up. All right, I'll go next. Or do we want the lightning to go next? We need to move two, don't we? Yeah, we need to move two and then. Oh, wait, no, we want initiative. Yes, yes, we need to move two and then they move their last. Okay, guy. okay, okay. I think we should move the salad in last. Yes, that works. That makes sense. Um, do you have an idea? Do you have an idea for the lightning? Uh, I think we could. I could get behind the Valkyrie, possibly the assassin. Uh, you, you could park right behind the Valkyrie, can't you? And just plug him from point blank. Yeah. Oops, I messed up the facing on the Valkyrie. He should be faced. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna that's, do. That's it's, not at all where he was facing. One sec. That would be. It's not letting yeah, me change his facing. facing. What the fuck? Well, I tell you what, no yeah, matter how you face him, facing. Oh, it'll be the it. lightning has enough movement to get oh, directly yeah. behind him. No <laughs> doubt there. No, no doubt there. Yeah. So that might even be a, considered a walk for that lightning. Well, where was I? Start? I was right here, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mark it, so. Um, and you were facing north at the time. That doesn't matter. We're gonna change facing now. Yep. Right, but the Hello, cost of movement Valkyrie. points uh, would be one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, five, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. eleven. Ten. Wow, yep, that's exactly a, a walk. walking speed. Okay, hot damn! What a fast Cruising little speed, hacker. as they call it. Yeah, and what the those, armor looks like. Guys not getting stuff. caught in the crossfire earlier is really paying dividends. Yeah. Still, you also have the javelin facing the exact opposite direction. What is happening to my fucking facings? They're getting literally uh, just flipped around. Well, you may need to make sure you're not. You don't have a token selected when you're doing the shift um, roll wheel. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I could have still had that like one selected when I did the, the, the scroll wheel. I think you're right. Yeah, click off of the token. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you don't have the problem. All right, I suppose and then, that leaves uh, the Hermes. To be moved, well, right? Actually, oh, the I need to go. I, oh, yeah, I yeah. need to move. I got you. trying to go. Well, are you gonna like park up right behind that javelin? Uh, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. Six. No, no, I need to go a little further. Two. Seven. Oh, we're gonna tear this Valkyrie apart, huh? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that a uh, a cruise or a flank for you? Cruise. Oh, really? 
it took you two movement yep. just to turn that sharply. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got 12 walk 11, movement. 12, 13. I've got you at 14 getting there. The, the MP for turning uh, got you to 14. How do we count out 14? How does... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, turning twice at first two, and then turning again at the here. top. It's, are we counting this? We're counting the start here? No. No, the start is here. right. You started on one. So you go one, two, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for turn, eleven, twelve, thirteen for turn, fourteen. All right. So you know, I mean, you'll make the rolls, almost certainly. In fact, it is a certainty because I set your piloting so low, like a silly, silly Billy. So up you, you wrecked it. Okay. No, I don't uh, mean do literally. Do you, you didn't wreck. That's that's the cool part. All right, whatever. I don't know if I needed to do a fourth one, but I did it anyways. <laughs> For style. Okay. Now that leaves the Hermes to decide what to do here. It sure seems like they're under specific orders to heck up this captain. Because uh, he indeed also rushes in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hmm. He might be able to do this with a little bit more uh, pizzazz, though. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, uh, this Hermes' moves suck. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. He can get into the rear of the Shadowhawk. So he's Great. gonna. Okay. That is what Hermes do. Hermes for the homies. But what's this? The Saladin with a metal chair. That's 12 movement. Hell yes. Okay. And two skid rolls. Nicely done. Okay. All that considered. Let's see, which one of these will I instantly kill with a rear center torso shot? Um, <laughs> the javelin. Yeah, they both so have we'll do a that plus one. three uh, evasion I can, right yeah. now. I mean, we could take out the javelin. I can prop up on my arm and shout, uh, shoot the javelin. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, Saladin is, is the only one that now. can see the Hermes right now. Because there's also a height two building between the enforcer and the Hermes. Mm -hmm. Using the defender choice role, he would choose for the line of sight to go through the building. Okay. That takes us to declarations, doesn't that it? That does take us to declarations. You got it. Well, there's the tag phase first. Oh, oh yeah. There is that old tag phase. You got it, dude. I'm so so not used to uh, having. Uh, a how do how do we want to? Who do you want to try to fire on, Mister Mister Lerms? I mean, I. Uh, yeah. Oh, what does Lerms, Lerms want? One. Who is um, your target? So, I mean, I can I can put missiles on that Valkyrie at medium range. Um. Or I can just, without any bonuses, oblique attack or the the javelin to try and make sure we kill something that's on the captain. Um, we can give a uh, tag on the Valkyrie to the lightning, and just to just to see if we can get it, uh, the Cyrano can try to tag the javelin. 
Cool. Yeah, if you uh, manage to tag you either, I'll make some stuff happen. With the VTOL? Yep. He's still and in my front arc. Tag, uh, no, it would not be in your front arc if you're facing straight south. Yes. The whole front 180 degrees, right? No, it, uh, it's the no, it's only three the hexes front... and outward, so this line for, would yeah, go like this. Yeah, for front guns, it's three. But you also already, like, had plenty of movements. So you couldn't just rotate one more. Yeah, I already made the check, and I have... Yeah. There. All right, fair. Oh. I may not always let you change your move like that, but uh, I think we will now because you totally could have, you know what I mean? I thought it was the whole 180 degrees. So. And that's only for receiving. Yeah. Honest mistake. That's for, right. that's for, Understandable. That's for taking the shot. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll... Yeah, you're uh, going to have to go far because uh, we got this hill too. Oh yes, I need um, to declare I first. Uh, after tag. Well, we're is. doing tags. Uh, so I need to wipe my target unit off my list, though. No more AC 20 shots for me. Yep, that is long range. Yeah, I got it. All right, well, then doesn't matter if I hit this or not, it just gives him options. All right. So, uh, okay. yeah, you've got tag on the Valkyrie. <laughs> Valkyrie tagged. Okay. We're going to start off with the Hermes 2, uh, putting an Alpha Strike into the rear of the Shadowhawk to the surprise of no one. Now it's on Yowls. Uh, I'll just Alpha in the back of Valkyrie with the Lightning. Naturally. Okay, then. Uh, I don't yeah. think it's two units on you guys yet, but it will be within a, uh, you know, one more pass or two. Um, we will have the assassin. Hmm. I think he will uh, alpha strike, even though it's unlikely to hit. Uh, he will alpha strike the lightning. Definitely unlikely to hit with that LRM, but you know. Now it's on y'all. Uh, the Cyrano will fire into the back of the Valkyrie with the ER large. Oh, right. And it shall be so. Um, let's see. Well... Not a lot of options ended up right near him. I think he is actually going to do like the Shadowhawk did earlier. He's going to twist. Uh, yeah, he's going to twist south and fire his right arm medium laser backwards at the at the lightning as well. And that's all he can do. Now I think we're at the part where you guys declare two. Might have even been the last round, actually. Whoops. Yeah, it would have been the last round. So, hmm. I'm not sure what would reset that, but that's okay. At least declare two. Okay, um, I'm gonna have the Shadowhawk prop up and name one uh, medium laser at the jab one. Alrighty. Cool. Are we? Do we have to choose two right now? Yes. The in, the enforcer will alpha strike the javelin. Very nice. Okay. And then... Let's see... The Javelin will give another Alpha Strike to the Shadowhawk's right arc. The predictable little hecker that he is. 
Okay, now you guys just declare what's left of yours. I think that's the Saladin. Saladin and I th think the Trebuchet. Yeah, the Trebuchet. Yeah, so Saladin and Trebuchet. Saladin's gonna fire an AC-20 into the back of the Javelin. Um, and then the Trebuchet is going to put two LRM-15s on the Valkyrie. Naturally. All right. Just a moment. <laughs> Had to leave the map for reasons, but I am back. Okay. So, oh yes, I lost initiative, so I declared first, which means the Hermes 2. It's gonna attempt that uh, rear alpha strike at the Shadowhawk once more. Now, the Shadowhawk did get his moves in before he fell down. Unfortunately, he is prone next to him, which means it'll be a minus two. So, he gained one evasion, and then for being prone next to him, that's minus two. So, it's at an overall minus one bonus to the Hermes. Don't know if there's a way to declare that or not. Let's see. Yeah, prone adjacent. There it is. Cacolate needs a five to hit. Yeah. Oh, really now? Uh, yeah, that does make sense. The prone adjacent really uh, is doing you no favors. Yep. So, uh, it's more about praying for good location rolls at this point. Let's do it. Um, I'll still have to fire it actually hit, of course, but let's see how it goes. Knock off that uh, left arm. The, we'll do the AC5 first, which needs an 8 to hit. That <laughs> hits. That is going to hit in the location of the left leg. Well, well that's no yeah. fun. Okay. Then he brandishes his medium laser, which I keep forgetting sound effects exist. There we go. That also hits in the location of the right arm. So five more That's damage That's not from there. the front, that's back. Say what? You're, you're in my rear arc. You're yeah, it'll be the same it. number. Oh, left leg. They're all the same, yeah. just the uh, front and back torso uh, flips. Okay. And then a roll to hit with the flamer. Also okay. hits. Location. Mm -hmm. Rear right torso. So two okay. damage rear right torso. Don't know if I've broken through oh, there yet. Bro. I've done four damage there. I think. Or was it more after the uh, SRMs? So you just shot off my right arm? It's, yes. Since it's applying all that to the lightning hovercraft. Oh, God. Crap. Uh, five. I okay, didn't know the Shadowhawk's right arm was that hurt. Oh, it's not. That's not. Okay. Left leg, though. That left leg is pretty beat up. I do declare. Okay. Well, uh, I would say you got quite lucky. Uh, add two heat to whatever you're doing from the flamer having hit you. But otherwise, uh, I guess that's that I for the Hermes. Over. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess so, you once again didn't really generate uh, any heat other than just that one medium laser. Yeah. And the run. That ain't nothing. Okay. In fact, that's your exact sinking, including the flamer. That's funny. Yeah. Well. Nice. Okay. In that case, up to y'all now. Uh, 
Is this one of mine? I I don't remember huh? who declared okay. first. Uh, I think it was the lightning. the lightning into the Valkyrie. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. lightning. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was lightning into Cyrano first. Hair lightning. Hi, Mon. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um. Ch -ch -ch. So firing in the Valkyrie. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can calculate short range and then take another two off uh, for yep, the uh, nipples. Uh, first one, uh, I'm going to do the two medium pulse lasers at fours, two SRM, uh, streak SRM twos at six. Noise. Right. So that one hits. Definitely. Oh, I didn't declare, but, um... I assume so, you have some medium uh, pulse lasers first. Yeah, So yeah. rear center torso. Ooh, okay, that's <laughs> not great. Uh, All right, second one. Hold on, I need to see if that uh, is a crit chance. That is a crit chance right off the bat. Oh. Okay, uh, roll for crit. No crit. Okay. Second medium pulse laser. That is a miss. Wow. Okay. Uh, why did the Valkyrie just get stronger everywhere on the rear? I guess that glitch really is happening to everyone and everything. That, that is enraging. Okay. Oh, it specifically must be the take damage macro. Yes. Because everybody who it looks correct on hasn't been shot yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. He should be at zero. He took two internal damage on the center torso. I really think he's just two four two on the rear torsos. So let me reset those real quick. Uh, oh, did the second medium pulse laser not hit? No, it did not. What luck. Okay, streak one. That's a mess. Streak two. That's a mess. Okay. No ammo expended. Okay. I don't have the ability to remove ammo from this guy. Oh, yes, that's right. I, I really put that one together slapdash. I didn't set the ammo on it up uh, correctly. Uh, I'll, I'll mark it down. It's four shots total. Sounds about right. Although, if you if you did not hit, it does not spend ammo. That's what uh, streak do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, two shots. Sounds right. Okay. Now it is on the assassin to alpha strike the lightning. That'll be... Or to think sick. really hard about it. <laughs> Here we go. I have run. My target is at short range. But that target moved a lot. How many hexes did the lightning move? Uh, seven. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Okay. Then we will do this. Nine, that sounds right. All right, let's try it. Medium laser first. Misses. SRM two Yay. next. Misses. Yay. Uh, I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to attempt the uh, LRM5 roll, but he does spend the ammo. There we yeah, go. Yeah, it's really trigger, trigger happy. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh. Okay. On y'all. All right. Uh, Serena went to the back of the Valkyrie. Yeah. Center torso, come on. Any rear torso, but yeah, especially center torso would just fucking decimate him. Let's see, I ran. How far did he go? Uh, seven hexes. Noise. Hell yeah, that is a hit. Oh, <laughs> left torso. 
That's going to be rough. Rear left that torso. That does go in. And that leaves, let's see. That almost takes it internal. off in one shot. All right, well, I just see two rear armor left on it and seven internal. And you then doing do eight damage to eight it. damage total. So it would take two off the total, making it six. And then the six uh, remaining damage goes through. Right. So he has one internal left. Uh, oh, yes, yes. My apologies. I was once again looking at the glitched out armor. Um, but you're right. It is one left torso internal remaining. Uh, Hello. Hmm. chance roll. What's the, what's the inside of that torso look like? That's a great question. Uh, I can report to you, good sir, that the left torso contains the LRM-10. And that's it. And that's it? No ammo or anything cool? Correct. That's in the right torso. All right, then. I don't care. We'll roll for crit. Cool. All righty. Okay, I suppose that would mean that it is the uh, Valkyrie's turn. He is rotating back and trying to shoot the medium laser at that lightning. Probably needs some ridiculously high number to hit. Actually, it's probably another nine. Sure is. Let's try it. He misses. The zap goes wide. Now it is on you guys to move or to shoot with two units. Take me out the uh, enforcer and the shadowhawk next. Shadowhawks uh, and try to take uh, a shot at the javelin. Or, wait, no, yeah. the trap. I think the salad that goes before any of it. No, at the salad Salad declared was last, towards didn't he? the end. Yeah, he was the last. Did it? Or well, oh, okay. I don't know if he was the last declaration. He was the last movement. He was the last movement, but yeah. I, I honestly. I mean, don't Shadowhawk and Enforcer can just go. I think it was the Shadowhawk and Enforcer. I just remember. I just remember the Enforcer shoots after the Shadowhawk. Yeah, that's okay. all I remember too. Okay. My math puts it at an eight to hit with this medium laser on the ja javelin. And that's with the firing from prone uh, penalty. Yeah. Okay. So that was plus two. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Sounds right then. There we go. Why? Wow, I wasn't expecting to actually hit. That came from the lightning attack hovercraft, which oh, crap. is a better gunner by one. And we so that, that would be a miss. Well, I, I'll take the roll, just not the. Yeah. It's well, a better gunner damn. by one. Yeah. It would put me at an eight. Like, uh, I, I'll, I can just re-roll it. Not a big deal. Oh, wait, it's wait, more wait. Than likely. Um, <laughs> what, what did you need to hit? To hit a nine? I need to hit an eight. Oh, you needed eight. to hit an eight. Oh, I'm so sorry. I misinterpreted before. So you still hit him. You still hit him. My bad, dude. So, just gotta go ahead and select the target real quick. Javelin. There we go. Okay. Left arm. Gets zapped. Okay. For five damage. Doesn't do much. I don't think the javelin's taken any rear damage, so I can safely use the take damage macro. Pretty sure. Ready. Forcer. The uh, rear armor shot up. <laughs> Yeah, it did. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's just any time you use take damage, it instantly sets rear armor to internal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is the internal, that's true. The creator of the mud has been informed. So, yeah, enforcer time. Uh, there's no nobody shooting back after the Shadowhawk before me? Ooh. Nope. You guys are going to it once towards the end. Okay, okay. Uh, Alright, so Enforcer, set target. Javelin. 
hit shift thing. There we go. All right. Uh, so I'll do large laser. I'll do AC 10, then large laser, then small laser. Sounds good. Uh, let's see this one. And I believe you jumped four, jumped. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. have weapon specialist uh, AC 10 so that'll be a seven on that right, one. so I need seven nine eleven AC 10 yep. large laser small laser sounds right hey. AC 10 hit. he's gonna feel that right arm for 10 okay he just well he has one internal left for a right arm now all right, then I shall roll for crits. Is there anything delicious in that arm? No. Nah. No. Okay. Moving on. Uh, mm -hmm. Oops, like the right guy. Weird. A large laser misses. Large laser goes wide. So does the small laser. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now that you guys um, have moved those two, or fired with those two, now the javelin is going to take his esteemed opportunity before he gets utterly destroyed, probably, to once again alpha strike the Shadowhawk. So let's see. In fact, let me see. That would be more like that. Okay. Uh, okay. Calculate to hit. It's probably going to be another five, but I better make sure. Yes. Okay. First SRM. Hits. Four hit. First two damage goes to the. Oh shit, I didn't select a target. Yeah, so it would be in the right table. So whatever eight in the right table is, I think I have a hit table on this map somewhere. Uh, oh, that's yeah, location punch table. Location. Uh, hey, location on the right side, yeah. On eight. Yep, two damage there. Wherever that is. I mean, it is front center at least. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Then we have the next hit location. Should be using the right table now. Yeah, it is. Uh, so two damage right torso. And this will all be considered front. Okay. All right. And then let's see. Third missile. Right arm. Two damage. Okay. And then last one. Eleven left leg. Damn that left leg. Okay. Yeah. That's the first one. Looking rough. And he misses with the second SRM. He got a little too excited. Hey, Christ. <laughs> For sure. So that leaves your last two units, I believe. Alright, so Saladin's gonna shoot him in the back. Which one? Saladin's gonna shoot the uh, javelin in the back. Okay. Eight to hit. Needs eight to hit. Alright. Got a fucking seven. Uh, oh, do you have anything oh. for rerolls? 
I mean, oh. I do, but this is not. This is an NPC. Yep. That is oh, true. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yep. They're gonna oh. got killed off screen, so they miss. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh well. Um, I guess it's missile time. Yeah, now it's missile time. We all love missile time. I don't know it's that the done. doctor's gonna be a huge big fan of missile time. <laughs> cool. So okay. this is a seven to hit. Oh, really? Yep. I thought we were just at minus one off the calculation for the tag. Yes. No, we're at minus two off the calculation with tag. Because I'm uh, including the because with indirect fire, I negate indirect fire and then the tag goes through. Right, so it should be. Oh, did you check the indirect fire a thing in your calculation? Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's where I was misunderstanding the whole time. Okay. All right, I hit with one set of missiles. Okay. Oh, you didn't want to try to reroll that four? Um. I guess I might as well. 50 50 chance, more or less. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay. Hey, we got two sets of missiles coming right. in, yippee. Oh yeah, I'll spend my last platform for the session to do that. Let the missiles fly. And then here we go. These fucking cluster rolls, man. <laughs> These cluster rolls, yeah, they've been they've been doing you in. Thankfully not literally. You're still getting some damage done. And taking none. You can't even roll a two on the location roll. Now I have to roll a three, <laughs> which is just way less good. Well, I mean, five damage to the right arm. He has a weapon in his right arm, at least. Yep, yep. Yep. <clears throat> Nine missiles there. Left arm. And then center torso for four. I'm sorry. I'm going to need you to say all of those again momentarily. Um, five damage right yes, arm. Yes. And then... Oh, <laughs> I can see it in the chat. Never mind. <laughs> Was it five yep. left arm and four center torso? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Yeah, it feels like with this kind of damage pattern, he like saw a whole swarm of missiles coming in, and he did like the oh, what do they call it? The rope a dope. He threw out both arms like in front of him, and just took most of the damage to those. Okay. So, I don't have anything left. I don't think you guys do either. No, just gotta do heat calculation then. Yeah, yes. Which, uh, all of my units don't really overheat. Yep, and I checked my heat and we're good. Very nice. All golden. Okay, the forester is fine. To two Very heat. Very cool. Um, just check one more thing here. Strange. I'm trying to do some behind the scenes stuff, and it ain't working out. But that's fine. It's what if. Oh, I see the issue here. Dun dun dun. We have. Well, at the beginning of the round, which I should I should mark a new round, shouldn't I? Mm hmm. Blamo. At the beginning of the round, you hear over the radio. I told you I'd make it when I could, and here I am. And as okay. the Major arrives on the field in his Manchi. Right here. There we go. And he has been added to the turn order. Although I haven't said his team, he should be Team Yellow. <laughs> Oops. There we go.
Okay. So yeah. He'll be run by me, actually. Yeah. As a positive, uh, positive AI companion. So ta-da. Uh, let's see, who won initiative? Yellow team won initiative. All right, I'm forced to move one of the red bros first. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like anywhere we go, we are going to have a hard time. Yeah. Well, the Hermes, too, realizes he's fucked up. He's actually going to back up. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, including the movement. Yeah. Or the, the turning. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Right there. Facing like that. There he go. Who would like to move among you? Um... Well, somebody's got to move. <clears throat> I don't know. You know what? Uh, the enforcer is going to declare a DFA on the Hermes. Oh, I mean, when, when he was in the hangar, you you played him as a hyper aggressive guy with his morning star. So yeah, yeah, you're right. You are right on point with that. Um, let's see, what is his piloting? His piloting is a four. Okay, he will have the uh, the piloting difference from DFA in his favor against this regular uh, skill level unit. All right. If I can even remember where to find that. Modify for relative piloting skills. <laughs> oh. It tells me to look elsewhere for that, so I guess I will soon. In the meantime, it seems I should move a unit. So you guys have one, two, three, four, five units left. No, one, two, three, four, five, six to include the colonel, or to, to include the major, I mean. So you'll be moving two next round, just FYI. Neat burrito. Oh, there are... There are many Discord messages awaiting me. You know, um, okay. Okay. I, I appreciate you guys letting me know. We have gone much longer than intended tonight. Uh, so. I honestly, I feel like we're approaching the point of where these guys uh, are like, I don't know, they're either going to attempt to flee. Actually, that is not what they would do. That is not what they would do at all. I think. I mean, we've got an assault back on, uh, coming in with the actual like major. Like, yes, exactly. So. At the very most, that they would try to kill me off before reading leaving the yes. are flying through the air everyone's being hyper aggressive against these guys and reinforcements just arrived mm -hmm. yeah you're right yep. that is a good cutscene moment 
The other big one is that the Shadowhawk has just enough thrust that even with a busted gyro, it can dive behind the buildings. So true. Yeah, um, and and to be fair, this the uh, the Impaler was already looking at how uh, at trying to communicate with the captain to try to jump over the buildings or eject over the buildings, and he was going to swoop in and pick them up since it seemed like he's the target. Yeah. Very good, good thing point. we didn't take good that much to or whatever janitor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I looked it up, and there's there's a bay in the back, so ah, gotcha. could I, I mean I could carry all the pilots, but that's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, yes, I would say that uh, as the enforcer is flying in towards the Hermes, we've got the uh, we've got the Banshee marching onto the field. Uh, you know, we've got the trebuchet continuing to lay down withering fire on everyone. You notice all of a sudden that all four mechs stop moving. In they fact, bit their pills? Yes. <laughs> it can oh be assumed God. that they have all bitten their cyanide pills. Oh, Morningstar is going to feel real good about slamming into this Hermes that's now <laughs> just... Yeah. Uh, your patience in doing so. Oh, here you go. I think, uh, really, just if we fix the, the the take damage macro, and then the other one is just the uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the weapon deck phase. I feel like it makes sense to do it in the normal order, but I think once we actually start shooting, just everybody resolves on one side in the order that they deck. Everybody on the other side resolves on one order yeah. on the order that they deck. Because yeah, once you actually true. start shooting, it's all simultaneous. Weapon deck phase is the only thing you have to go back and forth You're for. You're right. Yeah, it's no longer at a point where people can be reactive about who they're shooting. So there's, yeah, you might as well just start throwing yeah, everything yeah. down. You have a really and, good point there, dude. In, in the, I mean, the order honestly doesn't really matter either, since we're grouping XP. So we're just going to dump in, and if whoever gets the kill shot, the other shots are still going in, and everyone's still making the same XP. Mm-hmm. So we just, you know, whoever's got their math ready, one side can do all their damage, the other side can do all their damage. It, we can't change anything. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the whole <laughs> declaration the, does that. So Exactly. That, that's the only point of the declaration phase. So, yeah, very good point. Um, yeah. Well, guys, I think at that point then... Uh, you simply, you know, after all, all the bad dudes have been obviously noted as uh, dispatched, dispatched of themselves, Salvage. really. Um, mm -hmm. You just hear the colonel come in over, or the the major come in over the radio, saying, um, "Whoever did this, we're gonna find him. I hope y'all know that." Copy and that, major. And I think that is where we leave off the prologue session of Sins Unearthed. My God. It took a lot of doing. It took a lot of fighting past uh, our own broken macros, but damn, thank you guys once again for uh, uh, all your patience and willing to play along, uh, willingness to play along. That was my pleasure, man. Hell yes. Well, guys, um, I'm sure we will we will soon be in talks about session zero. If people are good for this coming Monday, uh, you know, one week from now, we can make that yeah. happen. Same time. Yeah, same time, same place. Noon to three. Yeah, yes. So Eastern uh, anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's I've just assumed I've put all my times in Eastern now because it just seems to be the thing to go by. I let everybody else do the math from it. Um, but, but yeah, guys, thank you once again. Uh, I, I now release you to go do the things you need to do. Cause I know I've kept you so much longer <laughs> than intended. So yeah, it just, it just means a people lot upset with me right now. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna have to offer a bake a cake or something like that's not going to be a big deal, but <laughs> that's a default state <laughs> for me. I understand how that feels. Sorry though. My, uh, for running so long, my struggle is trying to make it so that when I try to print 
this aerospace fighter. It's a valid openable file, and I cannot make it work. I do not know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Let's tell, tell you what, in our group chat, send me what you want, and I'll, I'll get that made up tonight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. It is a little different. It saves as a .blk file, um, but it's yeah. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. Worry you not. Okay. Uh, until then, until next time, guys. Thank you so much for hanging, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Have fun. Firestorm out. Later, see team. You later. All right, guys. And that. Yeah, and we get Enigma of DFA damage, that's right, Hashin, because um, instead we just have uh, we just have that beautiful, just, you know, we're going to abstract the damage. He definitely impacts on both shoulders of the Hermes and instantly just shoves that thing down downwards into the ground, for sure. Executing a perfect landing at that. Um, so, yeah. A little bit mysterious, but also uh, guaranteed to be cool. I just want to thank everyone for coming. Um, I know it was a real scuffed first uh, showing, and there's a lot that needs to be worked on, but by golly, I am determined to work on it. We'll make it better and better every session. That's my promise to you all. Of course, until then, uh, yeah. I just appreciate everyone's patience with uh, all the technical fuckery that we had to go through to make it work today. You know, uh, by the end of things, I hope everything uh, runs way smoother. You know, won't even be thinking about these problems in uh, within a few episodes. Hopefully, might find new problems to fix. But you know, uh, that's a challenge I am willing to take on. So. With that all being said, and with me absolutely needing to get some dinner in me, I think that's where we leave off for tonight. The true story of Sins on Earth will begin soon. Um, and until then, uh, we have a session zero coming in one week, as long as everyone can make it. Which it sounded like it is, but of course I'll be checking in with people. Uh, and other than that... Uh, the true first episode of Since Unearthed, also assuming we all can make it, will be two weeks from today. So if you want to see the character creation and uh, just a whole bunch of palling around, uh, you know, about what uh, what kind of characters we are going to be playing, join us one in one week for the session zero on, uh, let's see, we might as well give that an official date uh, that will be monday october 3rd then you can find us on monday october 10th for the beginning of the overarching story of since unearthed yeah that's all i got for y'all tonight there's a there's a lot still in the in the pipeline but for now this is our little peek into this world so on that note i will uh i'll leave off I hope you'll have an amazing rest of your night. Um, I am going to give a quick little check over on Twitch, where we currently reside, to see if I've got some friends online that uh, <laughs> Overlord or Leopard. What do you mean, Hashin? Um, who's got dropships? And let's see. Just uh, checking here real quick, guys. Sorry for the delay. One way or the other, we will. We're about to be piecing out. I just want to see if it's going to be in raid form. No, it is not going to be in raid form. It looks like we are going to be. Well, I may have spoken too soon. Let me see something here. Fucking ads. I can't even look at what someone's doing because of the pre-roll ads. That is infuriating. God damn. Oh, well. I'll close that one down. All right. Oh, Hashin, you're just asking me which one you would take between the two? I mean, I personally would definitely take the Overlord. It would, it would be much harder to, uh, you know, to catch up with. But, uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I do have a fellow VTuber that is currently tubing the Vs over in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Um, and, you know, I have, to, I, have to fellow, I have to support my fellows. In this case, uh, we've got Karima Excel. Kirema, excuse me. Kirema Excel, VTuber extraordinaire. I have watched one stream of theirs, so I am not super experienced, but I know that uh, they're cool. So that's all it takes for me. Karema is cool. Let's do it. Let's raid. Blama. Uh, I can't type, apparently. Ha ha. There we go. The raid begins. I will see you all there, whoever would like to uh, stop by and say hi to them. Give them a warm welcome for me. I'll be on my phone listening and uh, commenting, but I got some dinner to make, honestly. So, uh, yep. Yeah. A little hands off, but I still want to support my, my fellow streamers. So, yeah. It's been a wonderful night. I really hope everyone has an amazing rest of their night or whatever time zone you find yourself uh, viewing this from. So much love and much peace to all. And to all a good night. Goodbye. <laughs>